Welcome back to another episode of The Movie Club. I am your main host today, Joseph, as Isaac unfortunately cannot make it. Today's episode will be about the third episode of The Last of Us TV series. It, we have a little bit to talk about, well, I have a little bit to talk about. Um, it is quite a slow and very emotional episode, but it is good nonetheless. Um, as per usual, have us have all the socials, uh, my socials are linked, and obviously the main movie pod socials linked, so go go follow them, and uh, like, subscribe, whatever site you are on, either it's Spotify, or YouTube, etc, and uh, we'll get straight into it. So, this episode, being an hour and 15 minutes long, it, it has a lot to go through, so it, it opens with, it starts with Joel and Ellie running around in a forest, just surviving. Um, they're hiking through the woods. Ellie mentions that she hasn't been in the woods before. They are, they look, uh, they're walking through, and there's sort of plane in the opening, and uh, Ellie's talking about how lucky Joel gets to be that he got to ride in the plane, and... Joel complained that it was um, like a middle seat and twelve dollars for a sandwich and the banter just it, it continues to uh it continues to be funny it continues to the, their connection just really really works for the show and uh so they come across a hut like a little house and Ellie goes exploring as as Ellie does and she uh and she she finds in fact, that she gets up close to it, he's he's stuck. He's kind of grown into the ground, but she's she's toying with him. She has a knife out, and uh, she slices his uh, him just above his eye, and she she seems really intrigued by it because I don't think she's seen one up close that isn't attacking her. And so, yeah, that that was really cool to see. It, it's also like a real close up to a uh, to how they look, and you can see a lot of the fungal. And it's real creepy. Then um, we see them after that. They they're rolling around. They're talking. They I think they they they're hiking. They're hiking up to Bill's, who we'll get to soon. And uh, Joel starts to explain how the infected is because Ellie was confused about it, just how it spread around so fast. And Joel explains that it goes through the food, which it was really cool. So it was. He, he did a whole little thing about it just being one person buys the food. Like, the food comes in on Thursday. People eat it Thursday night, Friday morning, and then by the end of the weekend, they're infected. And it, it, was, it was kind of eerie. It was kind of... Ellie, she's... She takes it really well. Like, it doesn't seem to affect her. And, uh, but then... The real episode starts to kick in. We get, we jump back to 2003 where we see in the small town where Bill lives. He's a side character in the game. And we see him live by himself. Everybody in that town got, got evacuated out and he, he runs out holding a shotgun and he's by himself. So he goes, he, he raids places, he... Like, he gets a boat, he gets beer, he gets whatever, and uh, he, ha- he has a good time. And, th- and then it jumps up to 2007, where now Bill has all these traps, all these equipment, anything he could really want. And it's kind of funny, because he's rolling around, he- he's eating all these meals, because he's got his own chicken coop, he's got anything he w- could ask for, really. And then, in one of his holes that he's dug out, he meets Frank, who's who's been starving. He, yeah, he he just stumbled in there. He's on his way to Boston, the Boston quarantine zone. I think that's the same one that Joel and Tess were at. And uh, yeah, so he 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 invites Frank into his house, then allows him to uh, he he feeds him, gives him a shower, gives him clothes. It, it 
there's see it doesn't seem to uh to be leading to anything. But then we find out that they're both gay. And I I'm to me I'm not sure if I remember that being in the game. But um yeah, if it caught me offside by surprise. And uh yeah, then they fondle around a little bit. It does get a bit graphic. Not too much, but it just, yeah. And then, yeah, so it jumps through the years. We see them meet Joel and Tess at some point. They are, they, they come by. Bill isn't a big fan of them. Frank, he's, Frank's nice. Frank, Frank's always caring. He's always the loving one. He's always the compassionate one. Whereas Bill, he's a lot more stored away. He's a lot more confined to himself. But, we really see them like, fall in love with each other, and it it is really nice. It's really compelling. Like, it's, it's very emotional. Then, uh, yeah, it jumps through the years. It ke- it keeps going. It keeps hopping. And uh, yeah, we we see them have a little bit of trouble with some people. Uh, they don't get through the gates, but Bill does get shot, and. At first, I thought he died there, but it didn't make sense to me. Then, uh, then it jumps again to, I think, 2013. No, just after 2013. And Frank is in a wheelchair. And they're getting old, and by this point, we learn that Frank is sick. And, uh, yeah, then he... We go through it a little bit, and then Frank decides that it was his last day. He's gonna, uh, he's gonna off himself because he's sick, and it's just getting hard for the both of them to live through it. And so, yeah, they go through the day. It it is very emotional. The acting between the two, both Frank and Bill, the actors, did a really good job at showing their emotion and. Yeah, they have they have their last day, and then Bill crushes up the pills because Frank tells him to put it in his wine, and then Frank drinks it. But then Bill he um he confesses that he put it in the bottle. He put the pills in the bottle as well, so that they would pass away together. And it is very, very emotional. Like, it is... For a show like this, I don't know how they captured it so well. But... Uh, and then, yeah, it jumps to back to present day with Joel and Ellie. And... Yeah, Joel, he... he he's looking through the house. He knows the code, so he gets in through the gate. He then, yeah, goes into the house, finds, he's looking around, Ellie finds a note from Bill, and the note, it, it's kind of funny, it has a little bit of humour in it, because, yeah, and, uh, it's, it mentions Tess, and previously, if you haven't watched the previous episode, go watch it, Tess, it's when Tess dies, and, uh, Bill mentions in the note, he says, you can take everything, you can take my weapons to keep Tess safe, and that, that really hits Joel, and so, they, then Joel goes, finds Frank's car, sorry, Bill's car, they take what they need, and they, they take off, on their way to go find Tommy, and it's just, uh, this episode, it doesn't, fit in comparison to the rest of the other episodes, but it is still, it is a very compelling episode, and it really fleshes out a side character, which didn't have, like, a big role in the game, at least not the one that I remember, but even still, this could be a short story of just people falling in love in the apocalypse. It also shows a lot of Ah, uh, it, it's, it's something that modern TV hasn't really shown a lot of, like, with just 
um, gay couples, especially older gay couples, it's not something that I've seen in, you know, in just shows. And showing this in The Last of Us, I think it's, I think it was really brave. And I think it was really cool that, like, they, they were willing to just put it in and, like, really show it off. And, like, good job to HBO, because, as, like, it may piss a lot of people off. Because, you know, not everybody's great. Well, not everybody's welcoming to that. But I thought it was really, like, yeah. I Good job, HBO, for having, for having the bravery to do that. And yeah, you can you can really tell the love between Frank and Bill, and it's just it was such an emotional episode. I did not expect to be like gut wrenched that much, but another again, I think another ten out of ten episode. I I will have to get Isaac's review on it once he watched it, but I get again another ten ten out of ten episode. There's there's not much more to go on it. There's it's hard to guess what they're gonna do next week. I think they're just gonna we're gonna see more of Joel and Ellie next week, which is good. Uh, they they're now gonna go to Wyoming to go find his brother Tommy, who used to be a Firefly. Because if you don't remember the last episode, the rendezvous where Tess and Joel and Ellie were supposed to drop Ellie off to, they were all gone. They were all killed. So now, yeah, Joel is going to go find his brother, and hopefully, hopefully, then he knows what to do with Ellie. But and, oh yeah, so and finally, Isaac wanted me to mention this: season two of The Lost of Us has already been renewed. They've already confirmed that they're going to do a season two because of the success of this one, and I assume the success of the games. Uh. I have no complaints. I'm happy. I'm everybody. Everybody who's watching this show will want a season two, and I think it's one of the highest rated season, uh, seasons of television out there. Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey are doing a phenomenal job, and as I said, Bill and Frank's characters were, even though they're side characters, I think they they did so well in their role, and to, I wish we see more of them. We won't. And yeah, this is an episode. I don't think you can go back to it. Like, it doesn't have a lot of rewatchability because it's so long. But it's one of those episodes where it's it's so emotional, so gut wrenching. And the show it it hasn't. This is like the peak of that for the moment. But I think we will get we will get so much more of this. HBO they're doing a really good job with the show. But yeah, unfortunately, it's it's a lot of harder to make longer episodes when it's just I, and this is my first episode by myself. So hopefully it is up to scratch. And yeah, this will be out tonight. We have the Bad Batch Season 2 predictions for Episode 6, I think, coming out tomorrow night. And then obviously the Bad Batch review coming out Wednesday night. Uh. Hopefully it is with Isaac, but yeah. Again, go visit all our socials. Go, go like, subscribe, share on everything, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.